Hardy Boys are triumphant and successfully defend the tag team championships. the series the smackdown vs raw 2008 general manager mode series i am d this is near fall gaming we're gonna get right into our preview for october 11th edition of smackdown match number one gregory helms elijah burke sabu cruiserweight exhibition action you know we stay with it we stay with it Match number two, we've got a tag team championship match. Side note, we've got three championship matches in this edition of SmackDown. This is the, the aftermath of No Mercy, the four and a half star pay-per-view in which Raw gained 100,000 fans according to WWE.com. <laughs> so we gotta come hard, we gotta come correct with this SmackDown. The first of three title matches, Chris Masters and Galito taking on the Hardy Boys, Chris Masters and Carlito able to get themselves a rematch. Almost, a, in, no, not almost, an exact rematch from No Mercy. So, moving on to match number three, William Regal versus Kenny Dykstra. Gentlemen that did not pick up W's at No Mercy, but were involved at No Mercy. It's an exhibition contest here. We're going to see what unfolds. Match number four. Title match number two. It's going to be Marcus Corvon challenging Mr. Kennedy one-on-one -on -one for that United States Championship. Mr. Kennedy successfully defended his United States title in a fatal four-way. Marcus Corvon had a promo out in the ring. He was asking Kennedy for a shot. Kennedy said no. Our boy Teddy Long came out and made the match official. So he just said, Kennedy, I don't care what you have to say about it. I don't care if you just came off a title defense. It's been six whole days. Five whole days. You're fine. Kenny Di or Ken not Kenny Dextra. Mr. Kennedy, he was not happy about it. Very unpleased. But you know, that's that's what happens when you're the mid-card champion. It shows you defend it rather regularly. <laughs> and moving on to the main event. This Ted Long has been active tonight. This particular SmackDown actually opens up with Bobby Lashley being called to Teddy Long's office. You need to see Bobby Lashley uh, heading to the general manager's office. He's right outside the door. He actually gets stopped by MVP. MVP is 
just congratulating Bobby Lashley for his successful title defense at No Mercy. And MVP mentions that Bobby Lashley is a huge target on his back. Everybody's gunning for the big belt that belongs to Bobby. MVP offers, or better wording rather, he says that he's happy to help Bobby Lashley out. You know, be, be an extra hand. Have somebody watching the champs back. And these two get along really, really well. Bobby Lashley friendly. Um, MVP even makes mention, he's like, you know, uh, I've got some serious pull around here. Just ask Johnny Nitro, the guy who turned his back on me as my tag team partner. And, you know, what happens next? He gets traded to ECW. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, you know, the two get along really well, but Lashley's a little bit uh, unsure about MVP's uh, offer, I suppose. And, you know, MVP kind of like twists his, twists his head and he's like, all right, you know, if that is the decision you want to make, brother, I'm not, I'm not going to fault you. The offer's on the table. I'm here to help you. Let's go do something great. <laughs> um, but that's basically how it goes. And MVP just kind of leaves it at that to walk away. And there we go. Lashley enters into Teddy Long's office. What's up, t -Lo? And Teddy Long breaks the news that Rey Mysterio has requested one more championship match to uh, you know, get give Rey Mysterio his final shot. This time, just a one-on-one -on -one contest. Rey Mysterio, Bobby Lashley, one-on-one. -on -one. Bobby Lashley is not pleased about this at all. He is very unhappy about having to face Rey Mysterio again. He lost to Rey Mysterio just a week ago in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. He defended successfully at No Mercy against Rey Mysterio in a ladder match. He did not pin Rey Mysterio, mind you that. And Bobby Lashley ultimately, you know, he's gonna do what he's gotta do, what his contractual obligations say that he's got to do. However, he does it rather begrudgingly, a little hesitant, and ultimately, Know, his whole demeanor and everything in the way that he's carrying himself it changes a little bit it's got a, a stark turn and he's you know, starting to work over his shoulder big time right now and so that brings us the main event of Rey Mysterio versus Bobby Lashley one more time for the world heavyweight championship third title match of the night here on Smackdown with that being said we're going to confirm everything we're gonna lock in we are going to start with the action. Match number one, Gregory Helms, Elijah Burke, Sabu. We've got three legitimate title matches here tonight, so we are definitely simulating this game. Sabu picks up the victory over Elijah Burke and Gregory Helms. Elijah takes the pin. Uh, what you see here matches the kayfabe. Sabu picks up the W. Moving on to our tag team contest. Chris Masters and Galito challenging once more for the tag team titles. I'm going to play this one, of course. Here they come together as the two of them, as a proper stable within the game. This is much less trademark, or much less uh, copyrighted than Chris Masters' <laughs> solo entrance. So. Masters is uh, stroking his non-existent goatee. Let's spin the face. Here they come. And the opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, at a combined The Hardy Boys. Coming off another successful defense out of paper. They are hat. A hatty boy's a hat. Chris Masters starting off the match with Jeff Hardy. Let's go. Great reversal. Look at that. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum. What a counter that was. All 
I'm, I'm low key kind of wishing I didn't turn the HUD back. <laughs> what the fuck? How does that not give Chris, moment, Chris Masters momentum? Is he clean? I did not make him clean. I don't know why he would. Monkey flip by Jeff. Okay. Okay, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Party. I don't know how nice it Not is, good enough for the boy in blue. Chris Masters. And I think this match might only exasperate that you can't change hey, tires and shit like that. Like you can show. I said exasperate. I Not actually, you know, I shouldn't imply oh, that kind. If you don't play 2K, that implies that 2K will give you multiple tires to choose from. That's not the case. But, you know, you can create more no attires goes, and Jeff set them as alternate attires or uh, things of like of and These people want to give your superstars alternate attires for those who don't play 2K. If you do play 2K, you know what I mean. But you can't just assume everyone plays 2K. Especially on these SmackDown vs. Raw games. Is, this is a big risk. Will it pay off? Party. I hate. I hate that this is a thing. Okay, nice move. Kick out. I want to see Matt Hardy save his finisher and then do the master lock. That, that'll be a good one. Quite the sight to see. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Carlito, I'm trying, man. The tag's been made, and his partner's coming in. All right, well, I don't, I don't know how to just tag in, apparently. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? Oh, no. No oh, oh, fuck. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep Jeff. my mouth shut. Dang it, Jeff. Well, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said yeah, that Yeah, get the tag team moving. Very nice. Oh, I like it. All right. I like it. All right, Galito. Oh, Matt Hardy didn't even save his finisher. I just noticed. Very nice. Well done, boy. Real tag team champion. Carlito's got such a fire move set. That's a good thing. I don't even like to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match. That's for sure. Okay, Jeff. Okay, Jeff. I see you, brother. This makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this. Anywhere else, and that's because you're not going to see after ain't good enough for Calito. It ain't good enough to beat Calito. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest. How we goes too good. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also, oh, sir, you're not at 100%. You've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is... Oh, man. There's the tag. He saw that one coming. It's so great seeing these superstars... You know, Carlito's actually legit on this game <laughs> so far. Each other sooner or later. There were times Moveset's it nice. Like it wasn't little going to happen, but I can't fighting styles work for him. I would like the showman on Carlito just so he could steal people's finishes. That'd be pretty sick. But otherwise, Carlito's done well. It's a real shame that no Shelton Benjamin is in this game. If you wish there was Shelton Benjamin in this game, comment your favorite uh, moment of Shelton Benjamin. <laughs> Shelton Benjamin's my boy. He's probably my, like my all-time favorite, actually. Um, underutilized, unfortunately. Not as charismatic as he needed to be. I think we might be looking at the future of on, Jeff, you can't... In this me, Galito. They can't do it. This is a great match, and the fans are definitely into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. I 
think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. He could get the pin right okay. here. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many, you have not done enough damage when to When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are blowing me away. Okay, Hardy really? boys with the double stomp. Um, not the best, matchup. and Jeff Hardy's not going to be able to save his... Oh, he does save his fighting style. I'm not disappointed, but I'll talk about getting stuck with you as a broadcast partner some other time. You want Carlito in the ring. You want Carlito involved with the finish here. These superstars have proven time and again that they're willing and able to go the distance. Well, you don't get too far in this business. Okay, Matt Hardy's coming with it here. That's for sure, partner. There's always someone right behind you, ready to overtake you if you can't keep up. Damn, he's just not letting me get anything off right now. Okay. He's looking to finish this oh, Matt Hardy with the twist of fate. Okay. Right towards his partner, making it nice and easy for Chris Masters to Oh, Chris Masters. Okay, I was... I honestly didn't start uh, clicking buttons for a minute. I, I was very sure Chris Masters was coming to my aid. Took him a second. I'm not his mother. Um, Chris Masters apparently saved his mother um, from, a house, from her house burning. So have I. That's cool. good for Chris Masters. Good ass dude. Man, this nice ass. Really swelling, this but yeah, Chris Masters, yeah, good ass no dude. Doing his thing over in NWA. Right this podcast with uh, Chris Van Vliet um, is a good one. If you haven't heard it, I suggest giving it a listen. Instead of pandering to the fans, you should really keep your head in the mat. Come on, you're looking at a superstar. Top rope moves. Matt Hardy's about to do his little haunt thing. Come on, quit the going off. This is a wrestling match. Didn't connect. At least he didn't lose all of his momentum. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. He's tagged in his partner. I don't think I've ever seen a guy as well put together as like a to. masterpiece. He really is a work of art. Well, I don't know art, but I know hey, what Matt? I look like. You and motherfucker. Look like master's arrogance. You got to be there some go. kind of idiot to get Okay, so this is that. hopefully Chris actually the doesn't get No, those and a trace. So that is how the Hardy Boys successfully retain. They hit Carlito on some kind of roll up, something quick, you know, they catch him sleeping. It's a great match. But the Hardy Boys are just able to stay one step ahead and they pin Carlito for the successful retention of their tag team titles once again. Now, Chris Masters is hot about this. He is not happy by it in any way. Chris Masters' poor sportsmanship has been well documented throughout this series. And Chris Masters, he just unhappy with Carlito and just strikes him and just beats him down puts Carlito into the master lock and throws him around a little bit the Hardy boys they're they're out of there you know that's kind of the status quo when Chris Masters has his little thing his meltdown <laughs> um, just clear the ring go back to your locker room uh, once he you know eats some protein or something he tends to calm down a little bit have some time to think, be by himself, but <laughs> he is brutalizing Carlito in the ring. Chris Masters, two matches with Carlito, he brought Carlito over to SmackDown, and he ditches him, he tosses him to the curb, and he just walks out of the ring, goes up the ramp, and he's just pissed. And that is how this match ends, and this that is how we transition. We go into commercial that way, and then we open up with match number three, William Regal and Kenny Dykstra. Not an actual first blood match, just a regular exhibition match that William Regal picks up the victory in. However, after this match, King Booker and Finley come and beat Regal down again. Clearly, they've got some unfinished business. Shout out to episode 29, I think it was. <laughs> but, um, you know, William Regal defeated King Booker for the United States. 
title. King Booker never got a one-on-one -on -one shot back at William Regal. Of course, they had they were both involved in the Fatal Four Way at No Mercy. However, King Booker wants William Regal one-on-one -on -one in a no disqualification match. Anything goes, which King Booker is basically planning to be more of a handicap match uh, with Finley by his side. So, moving on to match number four, Marcus Corvon, Mr. Kennedy, United States Championship. We're playing this match, and you're just going to have to see who we're playing as. But in the meantime, here comes that boy, Marcus Corvon. Had a very strong showing at the pay per view. However, Kennedy ultimately successfully defended the championship, much like every other champion on SmackDown at No Mercy. No title changes at No Mercy. Um, kind of a coincidence, didn't necessarily intend it for that way, uh, proactively beforehand, but it's just the way it turned out. It's the way it goes, but Marcus Corvon has got his one-on-one -on -one opportunity here. And here comes the champ. The United States champ. Champion, Mr. Kennedy. I love me some Mr. Kennedy, man. I will never get tired of Mr. Kennedy. Uh, 2005 to 2007. Good shit, in the words of Vince McMahon. It has been a while, so we are going to let. Bit of a longer episode, but he's the champ. You gotta see, you gotta see him do his thing as the champ. Now that I have everybody's attention, who would just like to remind you that I weigh in tonight at 246 pounds. I hail from Green Bay, Wisconsin, Mr. Kennedy. Let's go. What a great shot. My man. Let's get it. Corvon Kennedy, United States title. This one's going to be a banger. In, in gameplay, we're going to try to just, you know, do our thing and get through it. And get the outcome that we're looking for. However, in real life, <laughs> real life, what am I saying? Hey, Fabe, excuse me. Um, kayfabe is real life, by the way. Not just in, not in my series, either. but um, in kayfabe, this match is gonna be a banger. It might even be match of the night, despite having a world heavyweight. Corvon and Kennedy are two uh, guys who are very much over in this series. You know, Corvon has done basically completed it. A full face turn in separation from Elijah Burke. Kennedy has finally got himself uh, his hands on some kind of gold. Despite being a top guy throughout most of the series, he has not been a champion for most of it. Um, but two things here you know uh, is that these guys are both real over <laughs> and um, had big marquee one on one matches for SummerSlam. So, I mean, that's, that's a big deal. Um, involved in the title match at No Mercy, the same title match. So yeah, I mean, they're going for probably 15 to 18 minutes here on SmackDown. Some, some good spots. But right now in the gameplay, uh, we're just going for Boom! And that is Corvon giving Kennedy a motherfucking STO. Okay, I'm not that bad. 
don't think you're going to be able to just sit back and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride it's been so far with no signs of stopping anytime soon. That was a textbook reversal. Cool van. Yeah, man, cool van. The power of the alpha male is just plain scary. That's for sure. You don't see many superstars with the ability to physically dominate their opponents. Oh, go. Big bop, bop. Wop. Skibbity bop. He's an incredibly well-rounded superstar, and that makes it hard for his opponents to find a weak point to exploit. He's got this crowd solidly behind him, and now okay. he's going to give this them be a super belly to belly. A super belly to belly. You gotta love it. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. Boom! Okay, we changed his finisher up to a gore. Let's go. I would. <laughs> I forgot there's no like wake up taunt. There we go. No wake up taunt to get the other guy to just stand up. But we got the new United States champion. And there it is. Marcus Corvon, the boy. He's got himself some singles gold for the first time in this series. The new United States champion. He defeated Kennedy. Kennedy, unhappy. When he wakes up, he is going to be livid. He is going to be wondering where in the fuck did his boy Snitsky go? Man, this title win has probably got me the most hyped so far. Um, William Regal, probably close second, and then Bobby Lashley tied with Mr. Kennedy followed behind. But um, these title, the United States Championship shuffling so much has really been enjoyable for me to get some of our boys to shine, like William Regal, uh, King Booker, Mr. Kennedy. All those guys deserve to hold championships. Corvon, one of them. Uh, moving on. But oh, man, that one, ooh, that one felt good. But I do want to talk about Kennedy and Snitsky a little bit. Kennedy, uh, he is, I wasn't joking. He was livid with Snitsky after the match. You can see Snitsky clearly is in that managerial role. In the gameplay, you're not going to see him uh, for some reason, bastards. But <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm getting distracted with that one. But anyway, Kennedy is just basically telling Snitsky to piss off. And, you know, he leaves on his own. Snitsky is kind of like, uh, you know, apologizing a, a bit. But Kennedy's not hearing it. Kennedy just lost his United States Championship. He had it for like a month or so or something along those lines. That is how Kennedy loses his United States title to Marcus Corvall. New champ. Let's go. And new! But we have a new world heavyweight champion. Here's the real question here. We see Rey Mysterio and Bobby Lashley. Who is coming out on top? No strings attached. Straight up, one on one. Mano e mano. And we know that Rey Mysterio can beat Bobby Lashley in this match. In this environment. Know it to be a fact. Bit of a longer episode, so we're just skipping ahead. We gotta pay, we gotta pay our dues to Big Belt Bobby. Well, that way. Let him do his point and then probably move on to the match. Three title matches and one SmackDown, folks. So far, we've seen one successful retention and one new champion crown. Will we see a second new champion? Or will Bobby Lashley walk away once again? Or, and still, a world heavyweight champion. Bop. Good, good stuff. Lashley, Mysterio, once again, locking up. Oh, oh, damn, son. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna let you sell that. I'm gonna let you. Give me some time to rest. 
sacrificed behind the scene too. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as any Sir, else in your no sir, a few episodes ago I said what was Bobby Lashley's secondary fighting type? It is a technical wrestling type. That makes sense because of his amateur background and I don't know why I didn't think of that originally. But he's got them automatic reversals until I think he gets like a certain amount of damage. Unless, of course, they're reversing me. I think it's just for like quick grapples or something like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's good stuff. Oh, come on, Ray. Don't be don't be such a vagine. Go take me out. Take me out. Bobby will actually tank, though. And this matchup quickly goes out of the ring. And that is something that Kayfabe would follow suit with. Uh, Rey Mysterio and Bobby Lashley, they've put in, they've put in, excuse me, they have put on some battles between the two of them uh, for quite a while, last month or so. Um, and we saw Rey Mysterio, you know, he can beat Bobby Lashley in a one-on-one -on -one contest. God, I really can't. <laughs> it takes so damn long to get into the ring. But anyway, let's say. <laughs> not lose focus of what's important here. that is Bobby Lashley figuring out one way or another to defeat Rey Mysterio the man who has got Bobby Lashley all in a bit of a fritz Bobby Lashley being the world heavyweight champion is a very stressful stressful thing you know after Edge lost it uh, he literally lost it <laughs> um, not the championship like his sanity but now we're seeing some mental effects on Bobby Lashley um, Lashley, we thought he was done with Rey Mysterio on that ladder match. That is not the case. Lashley, geez, I'm not even reversing this shit. And Lashley is just being the man uh, right now. So, I thought I was in Rey Mysterio's position pressing the wrong button. However, um, so, you know, Lashley thought he was, he thought he had washed his hands clean of Rey Mysterio. But that was not the case. Lashley clearly is still fucking with Rey Mysterio because Rey Mysterio has got himself another world Bobby Lashley, this is him being mad because trying to get some shit over on Rey. Rey's not letting it happen. Rey is reversing just as many things as I am right now. Not that great. Uh, and should I do this? Oh, if he lets me, he might not let me. But, uh, anyway. Back into the ring we go. So, Bobby Lashley, you know, he tore the announcer table down a little bit because he's just pissed off. Like, Ray is getting out of every hold that Bobby Lashley's trying to put him in. What he's doing. Um, you know, Bobby Lashley, of course, is answering for Ray's attacks and Ray's counters. And Frustration. And this SmackDown low key, like it would be, it'd be good. All right. Night after night, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans, and that's a good thing. I don't even like to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match, that's for sure. Not to be forgotten about. We will touch up on the topic of Kane and Edge. They had a last man standing match at No Mercy. That was a good match. I think I want to see more. But anyway, um, so those two obviously are not in, in action. Tonight. They're not going to get involved in this match that you're seeing now. Uh, so we'll just talk a little bit about you know, their presence. Uh, Edge has no presence whatsoever. But Kane, um, you know, they're just some big nets of Kane just kind of doing his thing a little bit. And here we go with the Dominator. Yeah. Shotgun noise. All right. Perfect. 
Um, but, I. Uh, sorry, getting distracted. Okay, so Ray wouldn't actually kick out, or Ray, Ray would actually kick out here, not, what, not flashing shit out. But, anyway, um, it's got, like, some vignettes of Kane doing his thing. Not in action. On screen. Not in, like, a live recorded, but maybe pre-recorded type thing. Um, of him just, you know, having his little... Scared. Story with Edge and Kane is not finished, and that's all we're gonna say about that. There's everything now. I can't get him. Even if you want, and here's a little something for the fans. That's why they love him. Who cares what they think? All he's doing here is giving his opponent a chance to recover. Jesus. To the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum. Damn, son. Ray just needs that. I don't think anyone in this match is even literally reversing it. They might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars let, let is this just happen as impressive right? as, as the physical conditioning. Bobby Lynch. A lot of people think Ray Mysterio is really exciting to watch. But he just Bobby Lashley fighting out. Let's go. Okay. To compete at this level. I think you're selling Mysterio short, no pun intended. There's a, a tough opponent here on this game. Oh, you're a huge clothesline over the barricade, into the crowd area. My gosh. You see Bobby Lashley, he's just like, oh, I'm going to hit you with a trash can. Brother, come here. Bobby Lashley, and it's not hard to see why. Yeah, but if Lashley knows what's good for him, he won't worry about it. But basically, he didn't let me, he didn't let me do it. But we're... Bobby Lashley does a spot uh, in the in the announce, announcer table. He just maybe like a dominator, maybe not a dominator, but some kind of like power slam uh, that takes down the announcer. And we end in a double count out between Rey Mysterio and Bobby Lashley. And it almost seems intentional that Bobby Lashley did it because Bobby Lashley had hit Rey Mysterio with so many finishers. Hit him with a spear, hit him with Dominator, uh, multiple things, but Rey Mysterio just kept on kicking out. And Rey Mysterio was not giving up. And that was really not uh, to, Bo to Bobby Lashley's liking. So, um, you know, it almost seems like Bobby Lashley intentionally uh, had himself, had the two of them get the double count out. Uh, so that is that is the way. Bobby Lashley didn't intentionally get himself counted out. But that is the way that SmackDown goes off air. We have got a long episode going, and we've got some shenanigans still to this point. So we're going to just check uh, out uh, the previous shows, do the recap of those kind of things. We're going to skip the weekly day-to-day -day stuff. You don't got to worry about that. It's just going to be um, movie dates with bitches. <laughs> and it, um, that's, that's all it's going to be. You don't got, it's not going to be that much. We're not going to show you the match card for next week's SmackDown anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, we're going to go straight to WWE.com, see how we get shafted in the ratings. The Raw with match of the week, I'll give it to them. Um, our, and I guess our match ending in a, in a draw probably didn't help the ratings, but boy, it was vital for the story. Um, three and a half stars, three and a half stars. Let's see what SmackDown got. Three and a half stars. Whatever. We'll get four four star rating for the Undertaker. Whatever. Two point six seven. Less than five hundred thousand away from passing ECW. If you're looking at these lines, they're just so all over the place. At least with our pay-per-views, <laughs> we don't actually keep the fans we get from pay-per-views. But whatever. Less than a million away from Raw, so I mean that's a good thing. <laughs> we'll see what how it goes when we get closer. Okay. 
Canova at the power 25. Johnny Nitro sitting at the top. Uh, due to my tutelage and my help. <laughs> He's not a champion. Randy Orton's still the champion. But Johnny Nitro is that man. Probably had a big pop when he came out. What a universe Overseas. that this place is. You know, uh, Chris Masters and Carlito are there as a staple. I should probably split these two. Who is Tag Team Champions with JTG? Maga. Okay, nice. Glad they've got a big body to compliment JTG. Uh, so we got Edge, number one. I could not tell you how. <laughs> he moved up from seven at that. Um, okay, but Bobby Lashley is there. Rey Mysterio makes that. Party Boys. Top five. Regal. Chris Kenny bumped down to 12 after losing the United States Championship. Okay. MVP up there at 15. Let's check out our rosters, and then we're going to send you off with a ranking. Contracts, nobody's expiring this week, but we're going to check out. we got just under a mil to spend. Sign him to three more months. We don't have to worry about him. Yeah, I know you. I know you cheat, my man. So I'm gonna get you. Okay, there we go. Cheap. That's crazy. That's crazy. This game is nuts. But anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. You guys are all real ones if you make it all the way to this point of the video. Thank you so much. For watching, subscribe to the channel if you like it. Give the video a like if it entertained you, and drop me down some feedback if you feel like doing so. Stay tuned because we'll catch you with the next video.